Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I thought that I would review the new Sublimage foundation from Chanel. I have not even tried it yet. We're gonna be in it together. So uh, yeah, let's get started. This retails for close, like 165 or something. This bitch ain't cheap. Like almost 11 o'clock, I would have had this up an hour earlier, but there was like mowers going, so. Oh, one ounce. And then it also comes with a brush, which this is actually a pretty nice foundation brush so maybe i'll use it it's angled and see how this works because it actually feels really nice so maybe they like jacked up the price because this is you know like 50 bucks or something seriously for the price you should get a very nice brush if you don't know anything about like the siplimage line from chanel it's kind of like their expensive it's like the most expensive line within chanel like you can only get it at chanel.com and i think Saks. initially it was just Saks when i like used to work there like not even nordstrom carried it but now i think like more places are carrying it i'm in the shade 30 beige which is more of like their neutral yellow tones if you go to like beige rose i believe that is more pink and red undertones which is not for me i'm gonna prep my skin i'm gonna put on the glam glow moisturizer this is the volgasmic i really like this moisturizer for blurring, it smells amazing. Sicily Instant Long Term um, Primer. I really like this primer. It is so expensive, but oh my gosh, it makes your skin look so gorgeous. And just everything, oh, just looks so good. It almost has a really nice smell to it, but it's like tightening, so it hides your pores and your fine lines. And it's almost just like a serum. Oh, it's so good. I'm just gonna take what is on the cap here. And that's what it looks like. Even though it says it's like a light, you can see there's a little bit I feel of like pink in there, but it is neutral. So, I mean, neutral is like yellow and pink together. And I'm gonna use this brush. And I'm also gonna use a beauty blender on one side of my face. This is a me supposed to be light to medium coverage. This feels nice. It has like a has that Chanel smell to it. It's a pretty good match, actually. It's a really good match. This brush is pretty nice. Oh my gosh, it looks, that's pretty, that's really nice. It blends in really nicely and it's definitely like a light to medium coverage because it's not covering up all of my skin. Like my natural skin is still coming through. So I'm just gonna build it up a little bit. So let's just use a beauty blender, which I don't know if I really want to since it's already like light. It's gonna share it out a little bit more, but let's just see. That blends really nicely. I mean, that looks, that's so pretty. Again, I don't know if it's like the magic of this stuff. It makes like any foundation look fantastic, but oh my gosh, I really, you guys, I really freaking like this foundation shit. I do not wanna like it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It looks so good. And I'm telling you, is it this primer? Like, is this the magic to every single foundation looking fantastic? Even <clears throat> the Luminous Silk, which never looks good on me. Let's build it up a little bit more on my cheeks and see how that looks. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Even when you build it, it's still like, covers so nicely oh my gosh i hope i wonder if this is gonna look good throughout the day i wonder if it's gonna hold up well we're gonna find out because i'll probably take my kids to the pool it definitely is more of like a radiant finish i would say i would say your skin's mattified which is weird but it, it's also radiant so it's not like a glowy dewy finish it's more of like a matte to radiant does that make sense a little bit i'm gonna take the la girl pro coverage concealer a little bit I don't 
everything um, with the La Prairie powder. This is a great setting powder, especially for summer because it's mattifying. And it's really, really good for aging skin. Like one of the best. Doesn't make you look cakey or anything. For bronzer, I'm just gonna use a little bit of Max Give Me Sun. For blush, let's use the Dim Infusion from Hourglass. I don't know why I'm doing a big, like, I don't even know why I'm just like doing a full face because that was a chip. I'm gonna set everything with the Kate Somerville SPF 50. This, I really like, I, I've been wearing this all weekend and I actually really like it. Ignite Gloss from Hourglass. All right guys, so, so far, I love this foundation. Let's see how it holds up and I'll check it back in maybe twice. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so it is check-in number one. I'm a little bit late. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon and I literally just came back from the pool. So we were there for like two hours and it's hot and I was sweating. I do feel like there is some, um, I guess I would say shininess in my T-zone, if you can see. I mean, not so much like around my face, but definitely in my T-zone there is some breakthrough, but it's not an oiliness. It's more of like radiant radiance, if that makes sense. Um, other than that, it still feels moisturized. I don't, my skin doesn't feel tight at all. It feels really comfortable. I don't feel like I'm wearing anything, and I really love the way that it feels. So... Uh, yeah, except for just like a little bit of, I don't even want to call it shiny. It's more of just some radiance. So you could blot if you wanted to, or, you know, you don't have to blot if you just want to keep the, radi the radiance factor. So I actually feel, this is kind of weird, but I kind of feel like it almost got lighter throughout the day and not darker, which is kind of strange. Like I feel like it matches me more now than it did when I first put it on. So I don't know if that's just like the natural oils on my skin um, mixing with the foundation, if that's weird, but it doesn't, it definitely doesn't oxidize darker. If anything, I feel like it matches better or maybe gets lighter throughout the day, which is so strange, but I kind of feel like that's what it's doing. So I'm gonna give it a, a few more hours, maybe after dinner time, I'll check in and I'll see you guys then. So I think it's safe to say that I love this foundation. It is the end of the day. I'm ready to turn in and take my makeup off. I think it held up pretty well. I don't really see a lot of color left on my face, but it's been almost 12 hours, so you know. I'm really surprised at how well I love this foundation. I did not give it high hopes at all because I'm not a, you know, a Chanel foundation person, but I love it. Let me know what you think. Definitely um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.